Yeah, look at all, dude. They're strings. Strings. Look at treetops. Oh yeah, there's a. There, there they are. In the southwest. They're all above the trees now. That's yeah. They're getting up late. It's 4:20. They're finally. They're finally decided to get up they're and go feed. Over. They're, they're flying over here. This is. They, there's another big group that looks like it's headed towards uh, Sean's dad. Yeah, that's a lot of birds. Look at them. They're. I mean, it's as far as you can see, they're all strung yeah, out. They're, 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 they're the ones. The there's some back there as well. Well, fellas, I think we found the X. Drove around for a couple hours. We didn't see a bird for two hours, and then they started getting up, and we found where they're feeding. How's it going, folks? We are back at the duck shop today. And uh, it's the night before the hunt. You guys saw we scouted all day today. We found the X. We have permission on the field. And uh, like I explained before, we're going to have some changing conditions. It went from 41 degrees to today, pretty much right now, to going to be blizzarding, raining, snowing tomorrow and super, super cold. So we are here with artist Bobby. And uh, he's going to basically illustrate what the plan is tomorrow, how the field's set up, how the wind's going to be coming, how we're going to set up the decoys, and where we are actually going to be positioned in the field in hopes of having a magical day of goose hunting. So we got north, south, each section has four quarters. The last three days they've been piling here and this is all very, very, this is all one section that's completely winter wheat. They've been piling there, there's been 5,000 birds, 8,000 on this every day. They've been eating this winter wheat out a bunch and what they're doing is they're feeding up on it then they're jumping over this tree row. So this is a tree row that splits the north quarter and the south quarter. They're jumping over and they're just piling on here. They're eating this weed out here. They don't like to be on this side. So they're going right to our cornfield. So this is a pivot and the pivot comes back like this. And what they're doing is they're just landing all up in here. And what's great about that is we're gonna have a north wind. We're gonna be shooting this direction and the birds are gonna be coming in our face like this. And we'll be sitting here in the tree row out of the snow, which we're supposed to have an inch of snow, shooting them bad boys in the kill hole. It's 30 degrees out, got a lot of work to do. Ha <laughs> ha 
All right, well, we just moved the spread because uh, the wind, it's a little out of the east. We got a north wind, but it's a hair east. They're wanting to come in like this and kind of come in from the southwest. So we originally moved decoys out of the hole to create a bigger hole for the big groups to land. Well, now they're just getting to this big wall and they're flaring off that way rather than coming and flaring off this way. So we're gonna move them back how we had them. A lot of you have watched a lot of bass fishing on YouTube. Water fouling, it's just like bass. You know, Flair and the guys will tell you if something's not working, switch it, change it now. Don't wait, don't waste your time. So that's what we do in water fowl. We switch it. We don't, we're not, we don't hesitate to switch the decoys 10 times if we need to. We try to find what works and what they like. Here we go. They're gonna flutter to us, Wade. Yeah, buddy. Wanna try it? Take him! Yeah, buddy. Come on. They should do it. They're gonna fly all day. They're going to keep doing this all day long. Here they come. Wade, left, coming in. Go down, go down. Look at these birds doing it. Oh my goodness. Look at this. they're coming around. Oh my gosh. Heck yeah. Let's go. Do it. Take him. Oh boy, howdy. Woo, yeah. Nice. Oh, look at that. Boom! Nine man limit, baby. Spent all afternoon yesterday. We scouted. We planned in the evening, you know, figured out which way the wind's gonna be coming from, where we're gonna be set up, where we're gonna put the decoys, where we're gonna actually hide. 
This morning, woke up to blizzard conditions, frigid and blizzarding conditions. We weren't even sure if we could actually make it on the field. We, we Fortunately, we were able to. We all drove up, set up the decoys, and uh, it took a few minutes, but then the waves of birds just came in, and they, they worked mag magnificently. And uh, absolutely incredible day out on the field. We really appreciate you guys staying tuned and, uh, and watching to the end.